In this video, I will share with you guys a really amazing tool for creating realistic AI generated images. Here are a few examples which you can expect from this AI image generator. And I think they absolutely look stunning. So without any further ado, I think it's the right thing to do to go straight into this tutorial. Now, this is the link which I will put in the video description below. So just pause this video and go to the video description and click on this exact link. Now you will have to register. So on here on the right, you'll basically go and join the Korea community. Now, once you have the account and you are signed in, you will see the first screen, which looks like this here. You will see that you have with the free Korea account, you have free daily generations as well as limited access to some Korea pro tools. Now, if you want more, of course, you are actually able to upgrade to three paid programs, basic, pro and max. And of course, if you pay more, you also get more. So here, for example, you have full access to Korea tools, private mode, and also early access to new features, which is insane. Here, if you click on yearly, you will also get 20% off of your purchase. Now let's go here to Korea and let's go here to gallery. So here, as you can see, here are a few of the examples which you can expect from the Korea AI generative model. And and as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, Korea actually implemented Flux1 Schnell AI generative model, which is also very amazing. And it has everything to offer completely for free. Now here on the gallery page here, you can pretty much select, let's say some of the images you are into. For example, I will go here with the minimalism and let's see which images we will see on our feed here. And here we have these images, which I think look absolutely stunning. So just look at them. So this is basically what you can expect from this amazing tool, which is by the way, free to use. Now here, if you click here on the right, you will also see that with a free account, you have usage of about three minutes. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Now let's go here to generate and here you will be able to click on flux. Now once here you have pretty much here my previous sessions here, you can also search for the prompts you used and here on the bottom you have prompt window. Now, for example, if you don't know what to actually generate, you can click on this random prompt option here and Flux will come up with some random prompt. And here you also have this gear icon. And if you click on it here, you have basically aspect ratio settings. I will go with 16 by nine. So this is what I will go for. And here you also have this plus. Now with a plus, you are able to add a style reference. And for example, I will pick, let's say this style right here. And if you drag your mouse up and down, this is how much of the style image will have. And you can also combine these styles as well. So if you click on plus here, you can also, let's say, add this one to the image and I will go with the style of 0.5. And this is how it looks like. Now here on the right, you can also choose a random style or just pick a preset from this drop down menu here. Now here, what I'm going to do, click on generate and let's see what will Flux come up with. And as you can see here on the bottom right, we have also real time image generation process and the images generated quite quickly as well, which is very fascinating. Now here, if I click on the image, you can see pretty much how it looks like. Now the resolution is not the best, but I think this will be improved in the next couple of iterations of this tool. Now, now here you can also, let's say if you like this image right here, you can click on a variation. And right now the Korea AI will take this image and create similar images to this first one, which you clicked on variation on. And these images will look very similar to this one right here. So let's take a look right now. So here we have four of the examples once more. And let's say this one, which looks very similar to this one right here. Now here you can also download this image if you want to. And uh, yeah, this is how you can generate really cool realistic images using Korea.ai. Now here, if you go to the home, you can go here to the enhancer and what enhancer will do, it will enhance your own images. 
So here, if you click on plus, you can then click on the image you got from the Korea.ai. Just click on open. And now here you have upscaling, which is active. So you are able with a free account, you are able to go with up to 2x. But if you want anything more, you will have to upgrade to one of more premium versions of Korea.ai. And here you also have this amazing prompt. So this is basically what Korea understands that this image actually represents. And here down below, we have a few of the parameters like strength, resemblance, clarity, and the preset, which is set to default. But if you want, you can also put whatever you like here. Now, what I'm going to do right here is to click on enhance and let's see what Korea.ai will come up with. And now I think it's the right thing to do. If you like this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And right now, let's see what Korea.ai will come up with. So here we have, this is the before. So the first original image generated with Korea, and this is the after. So the after image has much, much more of the detail. And we also have this really nice texture on the image. So here you can see, for example, on this church or whatever it is, here you can see that we have this really nice texture going on as well as here on the trees right here. So this is what you can expect from the enhancer on Korea.ai. Now here, I will we'll go here to the flux once more and let's generate one more simply realistic image. Here, what I'm going to do, I will just take this, for example, this prompt, which I used for these images right here. I'll go to the new session and just paste it right here. I will go to the settings, click on 16 by nine, but if you want to create content, for example, for Instagram or let's say TikTok, then just use nine by 16 here. Now I will click on plus here and I will go with different style this time. So I will go with this one, let's say, and this is pretty much it. I will click on generate and let's see once more what will Korea.ai come up with. So this is basically the prompt which I used here. And here you can see already example images, which I think look absolutely realistic. So for example, this one, here we have this natural bokeh going on. So this natural blur from the lens. And here we have the main subject. So it's really nicely focused. So you can see this, this eye is really nicely focused, but this one is kind of blurred. So this is really nice representation of the camera. Now here we can also go with the same prompt, but I will add another style to this image. So let's say this one right here, and I will decrease the style strength. And I will also add another style. I will go, let's say with this one right here, and I will crank this up to one. And you can also add one more style. So let's say, let's say this one right here. And I think you can, you are able to add even one more. So let's add to this one here as well. So up to five styles. And let's see, now what will korea.ai come up with so here i'll click on generate and this should be in real time and uh, let's see what will korea.ai come up with so as you can see the result isn't actually as good so what i recommend is to use only one or two styles for the images so here I will go with this style and I will crank it to one. I will leave the same prompt as it is and I will leave the same setting as it is as well. Here I'll click on generate and now let's see what will Korea.ai come up with with only this prompt right here. So all these images look very, very realistic. For example, this one. And uh, yeah, this is basically how you guys can generate really realistic images using Korea.ai, which is completely free to use. Now, with that said, I think this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and now you know how you can actually generate realistic images, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure that you check the video description for all the amazing AI tools, which you are definitely missing out. If you're interested in another AI tool, which creates amazing AI images as well, make sure that you click on this video right now. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all around in the next video.